I know you're in here. Say something. We can see B's cigarette. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Hmm. There's a lot of them. Also, I just want to take a step back for a second and say that, yeah, the one that's speaking to us right now, which I believe is the one we shot, they are a little bit different from the others. They have the same, like, uh, the same outfit on, pretty much, except they have, like, some sort of an... I don't know what that is. Something on their eyes. I, I don't know what that is. Some sort of, like, mechanism on their head. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Aid, you'll do no such thing. Or, Edie? Let's go with Edie. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what? who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors? But then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relations or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Uh, okay. So we could just leave. Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Wait. So you think that Edie... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vest... Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. So what brought you down here? What? What is it? Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to? 
You gotta understand, in those days it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Well, we worked ourselves to death. Ah, uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer. One... Ones he takes a shining to. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time after we picked one out, well... Not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger. And money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who believe you me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delink... Whoa. Let's just stop here for a second. <laughs> just halfway through that sentence, I was like, um, hmm. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. I am suddenly very, very worried about Bruce. Remember, the homeless person by the church. They were a drifter. Uh, I'm also worried about Casey, who went missing. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. Shit. Well, that confirms that one. You killed Casey. Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? God. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Great. He was my friend. Alright now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous as far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. 
Dang it. You're monsters. None of this, none of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that we lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stuck in shelves of the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially, like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this... Do you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. Heidi? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. I... I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... Horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like... Everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here. Fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? 
too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was going to happen, which was what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember, or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harvest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait. Everybody shut up. What? Shh. I thought I... in the fucking face. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May. May, are you okay? May, say something. <laughs> May? Shh, it's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Oh. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. That was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah. I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up. A long time ago. Oh yeah, when we came in here, there was a boarded up door along the way. That's probably what Angus is talking about. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Yes, teamwork. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> Been water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. Well, maybe May is. <laughs> Jesus. I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard sense not to be angry got me all defenseless and I lost more and more and more that's not getting better I want to be angry 
When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. Was over, long before I got here. So long, hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. When I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I'm... I am something, at least. Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, uh, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. I almost want to walk back into the water. I'm curious, but also at the same time... Hell no. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Brochure. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I could try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like, when your body's like, Oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, oh, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, uh, ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, let's assume I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. I can jump now. This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. 
Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, uh, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Germ's just gonna procure some dynamite and just blow up the well. Like, yeah, sure. Why not? There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ's a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean... The elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but... We did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're still... They're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> I would have done it too. <laughs> Fuck all of them. I hope they're dead. Uh, what? They, like, kill people. They were trying to get us, all get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Huh. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey, guys. Um, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it and you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. I don't think I didn't appreciate that. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it's stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. 
I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems, but if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep. There it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. That was a lot to take in. I almost, I, I was thinking for a second there that maybe the game was about to end. It feels sort of like we came to a climax. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how close I am to the end. Like I'm pretty sure this game is quite a bit longer than what I've played so far. But we'll see, I don't know. Anyway, um, I think I'll end this episode here for now. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.